Hey, what's up? This is GP75 Motorsports here, and welcome back to part three. Yeah, that's that's right. I decided to divvy it up to part three of both Quest for the Crown and my review of um, Become Knight. Uh, well, uh, of River Helm in general. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, what happened in the first two parts? We just uh, we just explored uh, the town of Riverhelm, and then we became knights of Riverhelm. Uh, so before we depart Riverhelm, the city, to um, to go on our first knightly quest for the king, uh, we're gonna ju we're gonna explore a couple of the interiors that I didn't get to touch on in the previous in the uh, previous two parts uh, so uh, I didn't get to this one I don't believe I believe this is yeah this is the bakery here yeah <laughs> I'd say I'd say it's a bakery and I I actually kind of like this sort of aesthetic with this uh, sort of yellow glow. I mean, it's unique and it looks pretty freaking awesome. Uh, so anyway, can we buy stuff from you? Hmm, <laughs> thought that was a car joke. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Alto Wine is 35 gold? Well, what? Okay, that's ridiculously marked up if my memory uh, serves me correctly. I think Alto wine is a little bit cheaper than that. Uh, so yeah, light brown meat, some bread, all this inter interesting stuff that I'm sure is uh, cooked very well. Nothing really interesting on the uh, menu there, but... I wonder what's up here. Yeah, it's his, uh, it's his living quarters. Pretty nice place to live. I have to admit, it's got that sort of uh, breeze home sort of a set going for it. Hmm. There also appears to be a little bit of a scene there. Which is odd. Huh. So anyway. Um, I believe the only other one that I didn't get to touch on was uh, was this one here, my ingredients store. I mean, there are a couple of other ones that require a key, but you know, I'm not gonna get into those until I am actually able to get to to get the key. I think they may be the mines. Uh, so yeah, that'll be sort of another little. Uh, that'll be sort of another little objective for us. In a quest for, quest for the crown, is to uh, buy the mines. Maya Nidalger, <laughs> I think. Uh, so, what are these potions here? Prolonged invisibility, resist shock, deadly paralysis poison. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, wheat. Wow, she's got a lot of rare po potions in here. It's Karja, though. Oh, there he is at the door. Yes. Ah, so you're an optimist, then. Yep. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm just interested in seeing how much awesome stuff you have here. Aversion to frost, aversion to shock, conjures. Feel Look at all these rare potions. I mean, these are all ridiculously rare. As you can see by the prices, I mean, we've got potent aversion to magic here that is 1,032 gold. Uh, yeah, just look at all of these crazy rare potions. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to buy uh, poison of... Oh, uh, what was it? Huh, I thought, I thought... 
Oh yeah, it was deadly paralysis poison, I think is what it was called. Huh. Um Well I don't know where 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 it is. I don't, I don't think it's uh I don't think it's on this list. Uh so paralysis poison. Hmm. Well, if I need any potions or greens, I know where to come. Definitely. So wait, none of these are marked as uh, stealing? So I can just take these deadly paralysis poisons here? Okay. Carjo, I'm going to need you, seriously. Or not, man. No. Okay, so. We are pretty much prepared to, uh to crawl the sewers in search of some croakers. So, um, I'm going to whip out old uh, Cold Harbor here. I've already got it equipped. So we're going to whip out old Cold Harbor and we are going to kill these sons of bitches in the sewers. I mean, seriously, what kind of person hides out in a damn sewer? I don't care if you're a going or what. I mean, you're living in a sewer. That makes no sense. Okay. So, I believe... Uh, just a few yards away, there is... A uh, manhole that we can climb down into and get into the sewers so that we can lay waste to these bastards in the name of the king. If there is one, I don't think there is one yet. We're going to become king, so I guess we're uh, doing this in the name of ourselves. Okay. So, yeah, Riverhelm Sewers. What do you think our strategy should be? You think we should go for the sneak and sneak up on them? Or you think we should go full frontal? I'm going to sneak and see how this goes. There's a barrel here. Weird. Okay, so yeah. Shh. Don't talk too loud. We're trying to sneak past these guys. Where are they? There's one. Shit, there's two of them. Huh. What we could do... This is a favorite tactic of mine. Um, we could get a bow. And then... Shoot an arrow over there. Although it may not work, because I don't have my uh, Shadow Cloak armor equipped. Uh, let me try it anyway. Yeah, you guys go over there. Okay. So, oh shit. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. <sighs> Narrowly avoided that. Okay. They're going to go in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to very sneakily use Cold Harbor. No, that may not be a very good idea. What we're going to do... Just that, and then boom, and his friend's going to run over, and... Okay, done. And by the way, I don't... I really don't think using Arrows of Instant Kill is cheating, because... I mean, let's face it, there are a lot of places on the human body that, you know, are pretty much insta-kills, you know, when you hit them. At least they would be, uh, you know, if Skyrim chose to obey the laws of real life. So anyway, there's a croaker right there. I wonder if there are any other ones. Yeah, three downwind there. So what we're going to do, take out the middle one, and then hope his friends go to investigate. Yeah, so just take out that one too. No? Oh, shh, balls. Okay, so these guys still don't know I'm here. So I'm going to take them out. Darn it. 
missed. One, two. There we go. Nope. I hate when they ninja out of the way like that. So I have just pissed off every cro every croaker in the place. This is not good. This is not good. Oh fuck. Okay. I've got a reckoning coming to me. Might as well stand up now. Whew. Oh, that was close. That was close. Okay. So, uh, nothing of interest on you. My arrow back from you. My arrow back from you. And you. And... And, uh, and you, and yeah, there, there's no, there's no, uh, reason to go sneaking now. Wait a minute. I got this guy's knee. How's that lethal? Anyway. Uh, so. Okay, so, uh. Okay, so apparently these guys don't know that I'm here, so I'm gonna I'm gonna sneakily take them out too. Damn it! Ah, can you just come over? Yeah, like that. Good night. All right, so. Uh, We've got, so I believe we've crawled most of this place. Um, steal from chest. Who would it be stealing from precisely? Uh, anyway, so nine gold, and that's all that's uh, of any interest to us. Oh, f I did not at all expect those guys to be there, so you're dead. You're dead too. And I guess I should keep sneaking now. Um, okay, so... Oh, that's weird looking water. Okay, so two more croakers. I believe that's all we have. One and two. Did they even fire a shot? No? Okay, so we just had to reset the bow there. That was a little uh, bug with Skyrim. So nothing of interest on you. And an arrow of hints to kill from you. So what else? I believe that may just be it. I believe we've reached the end. Hmm. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna check that this sort of main hallway, the sewer, just to be sure. Uh, what's this? Is this something I've already cleared or what? Let me check. No, it is in fact a completely new room. So let's uh go and crawl it. Okay, so what do we have up here? Okay, a croaker standing, ne standing there, and I have a feeling that he's got a couple of friends nearby, so I'm going to have to be very careful here. Take you out? Yeah, there were a couple of them. So, uh, I took that guy out, and I'm now waiting on the other two to come around there. I believe they're going to come up the staircase. Um, oh, yeah, yeah, I was right. Okay, good. So we've cleared this room, and I hope there's something... Oh, there's another croaker in there. I'm glad I saw that on my peripheral vision. I wonder how in the world he wasn't tipped off when his friend died. Hmm. 
So yeah, the way forward appears to be through that dungeon, and you just lined yourself up very smartly so I can take you out, and you're dead as well. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, but if I see someone just magically sort of grow an arrow, an arrow out of their chest, I'm not going to run towards it. I'm going to freak the shit out and run away. I mean, it's logic. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I'm going to run. Cause apparently somebody's pissed off at me and my friends and they've got Bo. And what is that? Um, okay, horn, horn deer skull, ribs, antlers. This must be a croaker symbol of some sort. Uh, anyway, so let's see what's in this chest. Five gold, and some other useless crap. We've also got these bed rolls here. So anyway, is that it? That, that can't be it. Uh, no, it is in fact not. The way forward is, I believe, right through here, and yeah, it is, because there's a croaker. So you're dead, sir. What? How did... Did it just no clip straight through him? What? I hate when that happens. I really hate when that happens, when you blind someone up. There's no possible way in the world you could miss, and the air just goes straight through him. I wonder if anybody else has it from, or if it's just me. Uh, could be just me, but... Uh, anyway, so, uh, is there another way forward down here, maybe? Um, no. Doesn't, doesn't look like it. Sorry about that. I'll, uh, mic bump there. Huh. Which is odd, because on my map, you can see if I zoom in right there, there's another room right there. If I can... Okay, so that area right there, you see this little sort of corner of a room uh, that I've got my cursor over here. I mean, there's got to be a way forward. Hmm. So, uh, where precisely would that be? Down here? No? Huh. Oh, what's this? Have you been here? Uh, we have, in fact. I believe this is the lead room. How do we end up back here? Hmm. I mean, and what I mean by the lead room is it's the first room you come into in the dungeon. There's got to be a way forward. A legit way. I mean, I can't imagine why there, that corner of that room would be there if there wasn't a way to go forward. There's gotta be. There's gotta be a way. Unless it's just uh, background decoration for this. I'm gonna go over in this corner and see if I can discover a little bit more of that room. So yeah, it looks like this is basically uh, background decoration. So I believe that's uh, pretty much it. It's weird that those rooms aren't even connected to the rest of the dungeon. I mean, that, that's just strange. Uh, but anyway, so yeah, I believe we have actually officially... Wait, what's this? 
Huh. Okay, so that just appears to be uh, background decoration as well. So I believe uh, we have just completed our first goal in the name of the Kings of Riverhelm, which is basically ourselves. Uh, at least we could consider it to be ourselves because there's no one else on the throne and we appear to be the only people aspiring to the throne. So, anyway, yeah, I hope you enjoyed uh, crawling this dungeon with me. I know I definitely had a blast doing it with you. So, uh, yeah, um, this has been part three of both Quest for the Crown and um, of my review of, of um, well... Of Riverhelm. So, um, yeah, feel free to drop the video a like, uh, a comment, a subscribe, you know, if you, if you enjoyed it, you know, that kind of, that kind of feedback really, uh, you know, gives me, uh, you, you know, basically inspires me to keep going with these things because, you know, I, I do this for you guys. I do it, uh, for your enjoyment as well as mine. So, uh, if you could draw, so if you could draw, drop me a like, maybe a subscribe, it would definitely mean a lot to me. Um, so, yeah. Um, in the next part, uh, which is going to be filmed tomorrow, we are going to crawl another dungeon uh, in the name of the kings of Riverhelm in our bid for the crown. Uh, also, we're going to, uh, if I can remember to, we're going to remember to check our, uh, we're going to remember to check our uh, chest that has our nightly salary in it. Um, so, yeah. Uh, GP75, out. I'll see you guys tomorrow when I film the next part. So, see you guys around.